Hey guys, so we are back uh, to week one, round two. Um, for those of you who haven't watched the video uh, from the previous round, I was able to win. And um, now let's jump straight into the um, second round. Now this one, oh my god, this one is going to be a really tough one. Especially because I said that I have no, uh, no idea about a lot of kids. And and this guy, um, Siley, I have no idea how to pronounce his or her name. Um, this account is a lot tougher. Like, first of all, he has the great mothers. I haven't actually faced them yet. Um, his account is similar to mine. Um, mine is 13.1, his is 13 million, so quite similar. The only main difference is is that uh, he's still working on his uh, Balen team um, but yeah it's, this is going to be a really tough battle so let's show you guys what how the battle looks like at the moment so he started to attack last night almost immediately after the attack attacking phase has started and um, I kept the same defense uh, from round one. You guys can check it out. So he was able to like f uh, one shot everything, which is quite impressive. I can't wait to find out what he used. Um, up top, he did manage to drop a battle against uh, Callum back, which I was happy about. And if he move back uh, to the back wall. He needed three battles to uh, clear out my Java team. So, but other than that, he was li really flawless. Um, that was up until he started to attack my fleet. Now, my executor uh, comp is going to be the MVP, even though. My Redis managed to get a hold, but uh, I have a feeling that he used a lot uh, of his resources against my executor because when he went in first, he used like uh, he managed to get uh, two banners and then after that one, and then he slowly chipped it away. But yeah, um, but now let's move on to his defense which is going to be really, really, really tough. Like, first of all, we have another uh, Dark Trooper Moff Gideon team here. This is going to be fun. I never faced Captain e Enoch before. Um, another A team, Tuskins, but this time with uh, uh, Django. Uh, and then this small team with the Django Kron is just going to be pure nightmare like all oh, that level six level nine yeah this is going to be tough um but down south this is where we need to start he set Palpatine with Savage and uh, Marajade with the Marajade level nine crown um this is going to be fun as well um, Leia Jabba Sorty with the sorty cron. Um, this is really annoying. There's so much uh, firepower on this uh, cron. Like a hundred and six percent crit damage is is just a lot. And then finally, a Zori team. Now, based on the uh, research I did, excuse me, um, I. Uh, I'm expecting another GL and uh, Great Mothers at the back, um, but we will see. So, yeah, I guess it's it's just time to jump in and see what we can do. Right. So the first battle is going to be again uh, JMK against uh, Jabba. This is what I did uh, last round as well. Um, there's nothing special to it. The only difference is that this time my opponent's defense is a lot stronger, so eventually I might not need to find a, a different counter um, to see 
if I can spare JMK because eventually I'm going to fix uh, Great Mothers and also Baylen so yeah it's not going to be easy to deal with them but you know it is what it is at the moment um, I thought that this is the right way to do um, obviously I'm still a bit uh, still a bit uh, rusty but what I'm trying to do is take out the uh, Bausch as soon as possible and then you know just win there's nothing special to this fight I'm sure you guys done this many many times before um, I remember sometimes back in the days we even triggered the ultimate quicker in order to kill Bosch um, yeah that's an option as well maybe if uh, there is a different uh, data crown set comes out which is going to make them even more powerful then yeah that's the way it is but for now yeah just keep hammering down Crescenten obviously he already died once so now it's just a race against time but <sighs> it's it's not even close to be honest I have a feeling that sooner or later they're going to get a really good data crumb. Um, because, like, most of the time, if you look at uh, Jabba's ultimate, he usually eats somebody before uh, we can take him out. And we always prayed for it that it, he went for uh, JMK. But now, he's badly halfway through the, uh, his arc charge so one more hit and that should be it yeah it's done 66 so next one is going to be Afra because this is what I used last round and it was pretty straightforward so I was like yeah sure why not do it again go all in on uh, Finn and he died immediately and then I, I went after uh, Finn OG Finn but then he was like really tanky and then suddenly everything went wrong like I lost Afro, so it was over. Now remember, my opponent only dropped two battles on the ground, and I already dropped one, so I was really annoyed. So I was like, whatever, I'm going to send overkill this because, frankly, like it's still a very strong team, so and I couldn't afford to, you know, just take it lightly. Because I had to deal with a lot of other teams, strong teams, which I know that I might uh, even drop battles on them. So here, I did the research that uh, Padme should be able to handle Leia. I was like, okay, cool. Finally, I can uh, kill a GL with a non-GL counter. Call it a day and move on. Now, I might have might have misplayed that I should have used the AOE probably and then it happened again I lost uh, Padawan Kenobi and then yep at this point I'm kind of glad that I wasn't streaming because uh, I was really really angry <laughs> like I was like, okay, I'm back where I was before I left the game. So, yeah, this this was just so annoying. I actually took a break after this battle because it was like, okay, I dropped two battles already. I barely made any dent on his defense. So, yeah. Yeah, I needed to back out, so I was like, okay, cool. 
at this point I was just throw uh, easy teams uh, like cheap teams against uh, potential really difficult ones like this one it uh, this team had the level 9 Sorticron I wasn't even sure if this is going to work or not in the past um, like it, it it was a fairly easy battle so I was like okay Go. We need to do something because we already do dropped two battles. So I was like, the, my chances of winning this uh, match was like really slim. So far, it was going well. Like uh, BB8 was already gone, Sorty died as well. I just needed to take it home, kill GG, called it a day. So, yeah. The, this one at least finally was an easy battle. I had to la leave Leia for now because as I said I was really angry. Obviously GG is a bit annoying but we can run circles around him so eventually he'll die. And that should be it. Yeah, so 57. So the next one is going to be Treya versus this uh, really strong uh, Papa team, Marjay, the Savage team. Um, and they also had the Marjay level 9 crown. Which isn't as uh, OP as the Star Killer one, um, but still, it allows them to move really quickly. Like, I honestly, at the moment, I have no idea what it does. But yeah, all I know that it it, it made the battle really, really annoying. Like, look at that. Like, the battle is already like what 40, 50 seconds in. And my Treya uh, didn't uh, took a single turn, so I was like, oh, "Okay, here we go again." Like this is going to be one of those days. Like my Savage can take turns, but that's fine. But I need Treya, because Treya need to put the isolate on Savage so I can finally move around. So there we go. It took us one minute fifteen seconds. Now I was finally able to go after Palpatine, which he died fairly quickly. Quickly, um, with the isolate on Savage, he died as well because he couldn't recover. Now it all it left was uh, Marjorie. It's down 57 as well. So now I was like, okay, whatever happens, I need to throw a GL at it against this Leia team. So I decided to use a uh, SLKR with the um, level 6 uh, Ufukron. So obviously. I needed to keep Drogan under control, so he was my go-to guy to um, stun because, like, he can one-shot my guy. So, yeah, unfortunately, I stuck behind the uh, old band, but yeah, I was able to take out Drogan. Like, see, Leia like just eat it out, Hux. Crow is not looking really good as well. I wanted to go for the full ultimate because I needed to charge up Cypher and all, all the stats.
So at this point I was annoyed because I should have used this counter in the first place, but yeah. I felt like like I just dropped a stupid a stupid battle. For no reason. But obviously this things like this going to happen because I was away for a lot of time, a long time. Now I finally was able to uh, push through, but here, so I'll pause here a bit so you guys can check the defense, like there is a crew, there's great mothers, that was uh, actually the team I was saving uh, SLKR for, uh -huh. so that will have, that's why I was annoyed that I had to use, um, yeah, my slicker on, uh, on Leia. Um, and here I made a mistake. Um, I was thinking, thinking, and uh, I actually went into battle uh, against the great mothers. Um, I was so angry with myself that I really, I, I, I forget to uh, press the record button. What I used was uh, Lord Vader, actually, uh, with Maul and his level 9 Kron and uh, Royal God and Royal God died but Maul actually managed to um, survive for a long long time and he was able to take out uh, uh, Morgan and after that he died and um, it took me a long time to charge up uh, Lord Vader, but he was able to take out both the Great Mothers and uh, Spirit as well. But it was a really dicey fight. So moving on, I still needed to take out a lot of difficult teams like this uh, Ray team. So again, I'm using the same th uh, team I, I used uh, during my round one battle: uh, Seer, Malakos, and uh, Starkiller. Now, next week, I'm going to have the Starkiller uh, Chrome, which is going to make things easier. But then again, we're going to have Ezra now. So Malakos was able to eat out the uh, Ben. That was nice. Um, but unfortunately, we need to eat another Whirlwind. And yes, Seer is not looking that good. So now we need to survive a uh, ultimate from Ray as well. He has, she has uh, three inspired, so we need to take that off. Okay, that's good. She doesn't have any debuffs, but we should be able to survive. Yeah. Okay, but instead, I was just all in on Ray. And she died. Only 55 though. So next one is uh, Bo-Katan uh, against this uh, mole team, which had the uh, level 9 uh, Django Chrome. Um, obviously, I'm checking the abilities because I have no idea how this team works. The Django died fairly easily. Which is good. And then Gar Saxon died once but he can revive because they had the revive uh, uh, level 3. The ta a tank uh, revive. And but yeah. Some might say that this is an overkill and it very might be. But uh, yeah, I had no choice. Like again, he already—I already dropped he, already uh, drop two battles. Uh, I used this round one, I think. Um, Malgus against uh, Dark Trooper of Gideon. Now this this battle is really annoying. Like. 
Gideon can do some serious damage. Also that revive is annoying as well. So yeah, this is this is a long battle. I need to get used to it. But on the other hand, it's fairly like it's very safe. Like we are just oh we, well, I'm saying that, but you guys can see that Margus was like he went down to, uh, into yellow. So you really need to control uh, Gideon. Like he's really tanky. Like if you guys look like yeah. And also that revive I need I need to learn about this because that that that's real that really annoys me that he can bring back um or dream of Gideon. Like it's just so annoying. Like again, we are like two minutes in. And by the R. And he still didn't die. Oh yeah, because he had that savior. So now we should be fine, but yeah. We are dropping uh, banners for no reason. Should be it. Yeah, 52. Just really low banners. Next one is gas against Tuskins. But this is a very um, strange team. Like, Port the Chieftain and the uh, Raider had the uh, Omicron. I think this is like a. Uh, bad uh, team composition I think he, he made a mistake here in my opening anyway so the next one is uh, Mon Mothma with Pau um, I was like let's, let's use Aiden here should be pretty straightforward as well Power's gone, but he's going to come back. So, oh. so we need to be quick. So that mark is on Kyle, and he's gone. 57. Now my own Moff Gideon against Luther. Now this one had a, a bit lower win rate. Um, and I can see why, like, that team can do some serious damage, like they are annoying, for sure. I just wanted to remove Termiter from them, I know I should have used the AoE, um, yeah, but I just wanted to slow them down a bit. And actually, I was able to take our Luta, so it, it worked it. Because if you if you get this team going, like again, they can possibly take you out. I think. Yeah, I'm just checking the data from here, like. Why they are going, like, keep going, going, going. I 
but that OG Gideon level 9 is so OP like that AOE is it's just eating people left and right um, now here see you against the uh, gas I think I made a mistake um, I should have just sent in C solo um, and you guys are going to see why I just wanted to protect myself because eat cut is there but what ended up happening is is like uh, for some reason I have no idea why um, from a single basic from C on gas he just sits down now I have no idea uh, how high uh, that gas's protection was but it just it just doesn't make made any sense uh, to me because obviously normally what you do is like you get link gas and the other um, either fives or uh, most likely fives uh, but if fives uh, isn't there then the R trooper or somebody well anyway what happens is that as soon as ga uh, gas takes his first turn then he loses his protection he sits down and he couldn't recover it anymore so after that you just link the side tunes by in 3v3 you, you don't even need to go into ultimate so you slowly just kill them because if you not go into your ultimate state then um, you can recover protection and uh, potentially get a max banner win now obviously this is this isn't going to happen here with me because well I brought in a full team and now like half of them are dead and then I went into ultimate anyway like again like I'm nowhere near where I was like I need to sharpen my skills that's for sure but slowly but surely I, I will get there um, this isn't a sprint it's a marathon so now this uh, this team this is the first time I'm facing it like I have to say this is a really annoying team like it really is I know I was able to sort of like overkill it using like uh, GML and JKL but still it's very very uh, annoying like because I know it doesn't look like it but if you bring like a, a non GL counter against it that um, and you guys can let me let me know in the comments if you have any cheaper uh, counters for for this team but yeah um, like I'm dishing out some really serious damage like these are top tier Jedi's um, and they can they can survive obviously that insta kill from Carl will help and I dropped the banner so it's 56 uh, I think this is going to be the last last thing. Uh, maybe not, but yeah. Uh, they have the Kylo Kron. Um, which I think going to be the go-to for uh, the Slicker team. But yeah, obviously Bane is OP. Um, So yeah, this was the final, the ground battle, and as you guys can see here, hang on, let me pause it for a sec. So, obviously, he only dropped two battles um, on against my uh, teams, my ground teams, and here uh, I needed, a, was it 127 banners, which is... Um, 
like 170 something ish and 50 like basically one one shot and uh, one uh, two shot and that should be it and this is what he said like uh, executor with that annoying uh, punisher one but that just annoying AF Redis and then uh, Leviathan so um, I was like, okay, um, let's use JMK. Um, I mean, what is it? Negotiator um, against the uh, executor. Try to focus down uh, the Punisher one. I might lose, but then clean it up. But then I went into battle. The Punisher one went first. <coughs> And they focused on my Anakin. He already lost. And I might have misplayed it here, by the way. Because um, Punisher won, and uh, was it the uh, Cat Bane ship went under uh, stealth, so I couldn't go after him. Uh, Anakin was still uh, focused on. Um, and I should have used the uh, Negotiator's uh, first special. Now I lost Anakin, which is half of my firepower. Um, I wanted to take out Cat Bane. He went down the stat because he was uh, critically hit. Now Boba came in, killed my plow. Now I'm putting on the unending loyalty. They already triggered the contract, a uh, breach. And then it, it is pretty much game over here. I brought in uh, what's his name? I don't even know his name now. Eben Hawk. But yeah, the, uh, this is our game over. I think I'm going to back out here because at, at this point, like, I can do nothing. So, yeah. Next one. This is, I was like, okay, I can't take out Executor, then uh, at the very least I need to take out uh, Leviathan. So I used that um, Tarkin ship with Empire. And then... I was like, well, this isn't going planned because I should have uh, got my reinforcements in before uh, I used the uh, sites the first special. And I was like, okay, whatever. I'm still learning the account. Um, it might be a speed issue, I don't know why. So I lost Vader. And again, I'm not doing like anything special, like uh, damage wise. Like I will need to take out the bomber. Instead, I'm getting hammered. Sight is about to die. Yep, it died. Now I'm down to two versus uh, four. Yeah, so this is it. I was like, F this. Well, and here is the uh, the final battle. Like after that, I was like, I went went downstairs, had a uh, drink, had dinner, I just chilled out. I didn't even started to record again. Um, I came back. I was like, whatever. I'm going to throw. Um, a kitchen sink at it so what I did is I actually sent in malevolence against the uh, executor and I was able to take out two ships I think I was able to take out the Punisher one and uh, Cat Bane and maybe one more I don't know and after that I died and then I used like a 
a mix-up team of uh, Tron lead. Um, I even put fives in it. Uh, yeah, it was it was just a mix bag of uh, a team fleet, and yeah, I was able to take it out. But then I already I, I think I only got like a 28, um, 25 from it. And as for Redis, I used the Redis mirror, and that was ugly as well. And as you guys can see, this is the final result. I lost by. 27 so yeah this was like really annoying so for just a quick recap um, this I I dropped two battles um, one against Leia one against uh, Finn obviously I sent in uh, Queen, Ma Queen Amidala and uh, that failed um, so yeah GG to, uh, to my opponent and um, yeah this, uh, this was annoying it, it reminds me honestly that why I hate ships like I really do like whenever I can skip uh, ships um, I'm just not going to do it like some might say that it, it might be petty um, it is <laughs> I'm not even going to deny it like if I can press a delete button button on uh, fleets I, I, I do it in a heartbeat like I, I despise it especially now with the Punisher one uh, out as well like in the fleet arena uh, during my day, daily climb I, I already had enough of it and I only came back like what a week ago like last week Monday uh, and I already hate it um, so yeah um, this is going to be it for now. Um, yeah, so I'm one on one. Fun fact, actually, with my loss, for for some reason, don't, I don't know why, I dropped down to Kyber two. So stay tuned for the next video, which I think I'm going to post on uh, Thursday uh, to see if I was able to end the week on a win. Uh, spoiler alert: um, that defense is going to be even more difficult than what I faced uh, this round so yeah thanks guys again for watching if you stay for this long uh, please uh, comment down in the comments uh, something like uh, silent beast hate ships that way I know that you guys are still here and if you are one of those person I really really do appreci appreciate you um, so yeah, thanks guys again and I'll see you guys uh, on Thursday. Bye.